Ellie. What you talking about? You sure you you are you choking to death? I said yes, he said. You sure you are? Oh, no, nah, I don't need to close it. Nobody can see over there anyway. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Um, they don't really care about us. No, they really don't. <laughs> well, damn. Okay. I was going to um, talk about something. I think I'm going to just talk about that in the next video because, you know, the singing and the humming, that kind of... Okay. Ja Michael Jackson's... I'm not sure if it was a funeral or a memorial or whatever because everybody seems to have a different title for it. Some people were like, no, it was a funeral. He got buried that day, whatever went on, went on. And I'm like, I'm not sure about that because there was like this whole extra conversation after the fact. If you were watching it on CNN, there was like, we don't know what's going on with the body right now. So I don't really know if he's buried or not. I don't know if it was a funeral, but it, it was definitely a, a concert. For sure. And, uh, I mean, some folks say it went on for too long. I think it was appropriate. I mean, you know. I mean, some you people... Stop watching it when they want to. Yeah, exactly. I was about to say, if you, you could dip in and dip out, and there was, like, a variety of people there. You could just come in and see somebody and then leave. So it wasn't like, you know, you were actually in a fucking funeral home or, or, or someplace where you paid to come, and you just had to sit your ass there through the whole thing. I mean, you could just come and go. You could change the channel. It wasn't like one of George Bush's old news briefs where he would just de-block all the channels from here to here and you just had to watch the nigga talk for him until he got finished. So, I'm old. Mariah Carey gave an apology for her performance, which is kind of... Yeah. I mean, I knew she was going to say something because everybody bashed her as being the worst performer, which I really don't think is the case. I mean, she was bad, but I, <laughs> I found the whole situation entertaining. I was like, yo, just burst into tears. Mariah just burst into fucking tears. I'm like, oh, come on. You can just cry and just say you couldn't keep singing because you was crying. Don't say you couldn't, you, you sounded like shit because you were holding back tears after the fact. No, just cry right then and there and then call it a rap and then act hysterical. See, Usher, Usher pulled it together. He cried at the end. And I don't care who says what. That nigga was acting. That was a fake cry. It was timed. It was perfect. He touched the casket and he cried under his shades. He looked like Stevie Wonder with Sight and Young with the shades through the whole performance. I was like, what is this? Niggas like Black Elvis with the fucking shades. Yeah, I'm talking over the commercials. You should turn the TV back on. That's fine. Stevie Wonder's performance was the best because everybody bursted into tears. Or thought they were going to. Or, you know, had the desire to get misty. Stevie Wonder just does that to people. And I mean, it was just so appropriate. And he came out and he was like, I, you know, and like, yeah, basically, I'm like, wish death on everybody in the audience. I'm like, all y'all are all old. It's like, we shouldn't have lived, outlived Michael Jackson. That's just not fair. Yo, that shit wasn't right. Smokey Robinson had the best story about writing Who's Loving You and how, you know, everybody knows this Jackson 5 song, even though he wrote it. And it don't matter who sing it, that's just their song, and that's the end of it. Brooke Shields looked like a man. She had a bad weave. Her eyebrows was crazy. And you know, she just really just looked like a dude from the back you know, to me, I mean, her shoulders are just, ugh, and I'm just, I wasn't feeling it, not at all, Brooke Shields, mm-mm, no. Queen Latifah kept it real G, I mean, she just talked about growing up, listening to the Jackson 5, her brother and all that, you know, and we all know he's dead, so that was kind of, ooh, too, that's just one more dead person. At the end, when Paris started talking about her father and crying. Everybody was like, okay, ooh, this was misty, this was emotional. I kept having the desire to sing Bad to the Bone because when she goes, when I was, ever since I was born, first thing that jumps in my mind, nurses all gathered round. Bad to the Bone. Julia made some really fucked up analogy between Marlon 
having a twin brother named Brandon and Marlon Brando and Miko Brando and some bullshit like that. It just made no sense because it was completely overthought. So, yeah, that, mm -mm. And to me, out of all the Jacksons and the Jackson Fives and the Jackson in general, Marlon is the coolest one. That nigga's mad pimp. He had the fly mustache. He got the deep voice. He just Billy deed it to the end. Jackie Jackson kind of looks like Black Frankenstein to me because he's so tall in comparison to all the other ones. And I was kind of a fan of his music, but he put too many white girls in the music videos. And I'm like, that's why he never got famous. Jermaine, we all know he's a Muslim now. He was mad preachy. It was all right. Tito, Randy, them two niggas are fat. They didn't say nothing. Joe was in the audience again, still looking like a gremlin. Did you see, like, Janet shove him out the way for a minute? Like, when she was going to sit down after hugging Usher, Janet kind of shoved Joe, like, get the fuck out the way. <laughs> that was kind of classic. And Reby was there. That was, like, magnanimous. They dug up Reby. And even fucking Latoya, who looks like... A ghost. Hell, she kind of look at if Michael Jackson had a ghost, it would look like Latoya. That's almost something bad to say. But I don't know. Neo, he sang Lady in My Life, and that threw me off. He did, I barely even recognized the song the way he was singing it. Um, I think they should have got Al B. Shore to sing it. Because his remake of Lady in My Life was on point. Even though nobody cares about Al B. Shore anymore. Which is a whole other situation. But that's about it. Oh, yeah, in uh, California, they want the people to foot the bill. If this went on in some other country, nobody would be complaining about how this made, you know, cost too much money. I mean, they had to make some revenue off of it. It was on damn near every channel, and there was people from overseas. You got the hotels, you got all this shit. Stop complaining about the fact you need money. California was broke before this took place. I'm pretty sure y'all could find something in this man's house. I'm, I'm so sure somebody done stole some shit by now. Just find something, sell one of them gold beds, to sell one of them old zebras, sell some shit. Y'all could recoup the funds. It really ain't that deep. Just stop it. And pass the freaking humanitarian bill. They want to make him a national icon and humanitarian. Go ahead. The nigga gave out money. He did. Shit. That's like saying Kentucky Fried Chicken ain't from Kentucky. Nobody fucking cares because that was the label. And that's all that matters. All the extra accoutrement that comes with it, the grilling, all of that, doesn't matter after the fact. You got to go with the original label.